Eastman Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzy, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy good times together. And like most of us, they enjoy good times over again in pictures, especially at Christmas. And now, let's join Harriet, who's holding the answer to many a Christmas gift problem right in the palm of her hand. I sure am. It's the Brownie Starmite camera by Kodak. Everybody enjoys having pictures, and this is the easiest way I know of to take them, in black and white or color. It's the tiniest, handiest camera with built-in flash Kodak ever made, and it comes with a tag that says, Open Me First. Imagine the fun Christmas morning when someone finds a Brownie Starmite outfit under the tree. You can picture the fun of Christmas right from the very first moment, and from Christmas Day all through the year, this will be a gift the whole family will enjoy and appreciate. The Brownie Starmite outfit by Kodak costs less than $12. Other Brownie cameras cost less than $7. Each one is easy to use and takes beautiful pictures in black and white or color, even color slides. And remember, the name Kodak means it's a gift you'll be proud to give. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Hi. Oh, hi, Ma. She scared me. I thought it was Pop. Oh? I was just looking through some of his stuff, trying to get an idea of what to get him for Christmas. Oh. Well, I know one thing he'd like to have, an outboard motor. Oh, well, like you always say, Mom, it's not the gift that counts, it's the thought behind it. <laughs> Did you decide on anything? Well, not yet. Of course, there's always the old standby, shirts and ties. Oh, he has quite a few ties. Well, you could always use a couple more. Hey, he could use a new belt. He's been complaining that all his old ones are shrinking. <laughs> or I could get him some film for his movie camera. No, I'm going to get that for him. Of course, he can always use more shirts. I, I think I'll go down the Emporium and, and look around. Uh, look around for what? Oh, uh, nothing. Just look around. Well, I I'll take anything as long as it fits. <laughs> well, you sure can't surprise anybody around this house. Uh, Rick? Yeah? Uh, uh, don't forget, it's not the thought behind the gift. It's the gift itself that counts. <laughs> I'm near you, Pop. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Would you mind not handling the merchandise, please? Oh, hi, Wally. Hi. You buying a shirt? Well, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out what to get my father for Christmas. Yeah, I've got the same problem. That's a nice shirt. How much is it? Uh, twelve fifty. I've still got the same problem. <laughs> hey, how about getting some neckties? Oh, gee, your father's got a whole closet full of them. So does mine. Uh, of course, he could always use a few more. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi. Uh, we thought we'd look at some ties. Well, we have a nice selection. Do you see anything you like? Uh, yeah, uh, this is very nice. Hey, that's mine. Oh, no, I, I meant this one. Is it for yourself? No, it's for my father. Uh, I wonder if you have this in blue. I think so, right over here. Look, why don't you go look around while I get the tie? Are you kidding? Is this about what you had in mind? Oh, yeah, this is very nice. Could you gift wrap it for me, please? All right, be glad to. Hey, would you wrap this as a gift, too, please? All right, excuse me. Oh, uh, don't go away. I was just going to get my book. Oh, I was just thinking, uh, while I was here, I, I might as well get a necktie for my brother, too. Uh, me, too. All right, I'll be right back. You don't have a brother. Well, I'll get one for your brother. <laughs> Do you like these? Oh, yeah, uh, this is very nice. Will there be anything else, fellas? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Well, let's see. You have the four ties, the two shirts, the wallet, and the socks. Yeah, that's right. And you have the four ties, and the belt. Yeah, and the 1250 shirt. Oh, yes, I don't want to forget that. I'll get these wrapped. Incidentally, we have a special on these Argentine gaucho shirts. Oh, they're very nice. Uh, very nice. Confidentially, I agree with you, but I'm supposed to tell you about it. <laughs> well, that takes care of a lot of my Christmas shopping. Yeah, mine too. You know, I get the feeling she kind of likes me. She sure is a cute girl, don't you think? 
Oh, yeah, she's okay. Uh, you know, I was just thinking, as long as I'm down here anyway, I might as well finish up all my Christmas shopping. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Committee? Well, sort of. We saw you drive up. Hey, I bet this is for me. This looks like mine. Now, wait a second. Nobody gets anything till Christmas morning. Well, you sure are generous. Looks like you bought out the store. Boy, you're not kidding. Well, I figured as long as I was down there, I'd get a couple extra things. Well, you sure did. Oh, I got some beautiful presents for you, Pop. I just thought I'd let you know so you won't be embarrassed Christmas morning. Oh, well, I, I can't hear a thing. Come on, I'll get it to you. Is it all right with you if I hide some of this stuff now? Sure, go ahead. What's in here? Oh, just some stuff I got for myself. Go ahead, you can look at it. You really went all out. Hey, this is a beautiful tie. Yeah, I kind of like it. Was she pretty? Who's that? Well, the sales girl that talked you into buying all this stuff. What are you talking about? It's Christmas. You have to buy presents for everybody. I figured as long as I was down there, I'd get it all done at once. Nobody talked me into anything. Okay. Was she pretty? What makes you think it was a girl? After all, I bought this stuff at the men's department. And most of the salespeople there are men. Okay, but you don't have to get mad about it. Is she pretty? Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> well, uh, what are you going to do on your Christmas vacation this year, Dave? Some vacation. I'll be working at the law office most of the time. Oh, yeah. How about you, Rick? Oh, I've been thinking about that. Maybe I'll get a job. You must be kidding. Well, what kind of a job? Well, I, I was thinking about, uh, well, a salesman, for instance. Oh, uh, whereabouts? Well, when I was at the Emporium today, I saw a sign that said they need some more Christmas help. Well, that might be interesting. Yeah, I think so. Now I get it. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't. Well, I don't either. Well, they've got a beautiful sales girl down there. She's the one that sold them all that stuff today. Look, I want to work there because I can use some money. Well... Sounds like a good enough reason. I think it might be good experience. Well, at least it won't hurt to go down there tomorrow morning and find out. And not because of any girl. I haven't said a thing. Just good luck, and I hope she's still there. <laughs> oh, Wally. Rick, what are you doing here? Well, the same thing you are, I guess. Applying for a job. Well, I thought you were just going to take it easy this Christmas vacation. Well, yeah, I was, but I changed my mind. Well, what about you? I thought you had that job lined up at the hardware store. Well, I did. But I think it'd be a lot more interesting working here. Boy, they sure ask enough questions. Yeah. Who are you going to use for references? Oh, friends. Say, you can use me if you want to. I'll be glad to tell them everything I know about you. Oh, well, thanks a lot, but I, I'll think of somebody. Well, whatever you say. Right in here. Please sit down, gentlemen. I see you both want to be salesmen. Uh, yes, yes sir. sir. You haven't had much experience. Oh, I'm sure we could handle it. Oh, I'm sure we could. Well, let's see what we have open. Uh, how about men's furnishings? Ties and shirts? Yes, we might be able to try you there. Th that sounds good to me, too. Well, you've had all that experience at the hardware store. Wouldn't that be better for you? Oh, no, I just worked there a short time. How about sporting goods? I say that might be good for you, Rick. No, I, I think I'd rather try the men's furnishings, if I have a choice. Well, uh, we do need some extra help there. Uh, I think I'd like that, too. Or how about the toy department? Would either of you fellows be interested in that? Well, I, I think I know more about clothes. Mm, no, me too. I've worn clothes all my life. <laughs> well, we'll put you both down for men's furnishings. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you very much. Well, this job
Johnson, do you have a minute? Yes, sir. I'm sure Miss Johnson will help you all she can. Well, hello there. Hi. Do you know each other? Well, uh, not exactly. See, we bought some things in here yesterday. Oh, well, Terry Johnson, this is Rick Nelson and Wally Dipple. How do you do? They're going to be working with you. Oh, how nice. Uh, would you show them how to fill out their sales books and get them started? I'll be glad to. Good. Well, it's nice to have you working with us. Thank you very much. See you later. Yes, sir. Well, this is quite a surprise. Well, after all the stuff he sold us yesterday, we decided we could use some Christmas money. <laughs> well, come on around here and I'll show you how we do things. There's really nothing to it. You just put your section number here and then your sales number here. Oh, there's one of my best customers. Would you excuse me? Oh, oh sure, sure. I'll ask Miss Quigley to help you. Oh, Miss Quigley? Yes, dearie? Could you help us a moment over here, please? Sure. This is Dickie. Uh, uh, Ricky. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is Charlie, is it? Uh, Wally. Well, this is Wally, and they're going to be working with us. So would you please show them how to fill out their sales book? Certainly. Please. Now, there's really nothing to it. You just put your section number here and your sales number here. Fellas? Fellas? <laughs> section number here. This is very smart. I'm sure your husband will like it. Uh, would you like me to try it on so you can get an idea of how it looks? I beg your pardon? I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh, well, whatever you say, Miss Johnson. I'll take it. Okay. How about some handkerchiefs? Yes, that's an idea. Uh, may I suggest you let Miss Johnson select them for you? She has excellent taste. Would you like initial handkerchiefs? Yes, please, the initial R. These are very nice, pure Irish linen. Yes, uh, there's a shamrock in every box. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, may I talk to you for a moment? Oh, certainly. Uh, excuse me. I'll take a half a dozen of these. Look, Rick, there are some other customers waiting over here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just trying to help Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson doesn't need any help. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I realize that. Thank you. <laughs> may I help you, sir? Oh, yes. I'd like to see the plain white shirt with the button-down collar. Uh, yes, sir. What size? Sixteen and a half, thirty-three. How's everything going? Oh, just fine. Uh, would you excuse me for a minute, please? Excuse me. Uh, allow me. Oh, thank you. You need some help? Uh, no, thanks. Wally's doing just fine. Oh, be careful there. It looks like it's slipping. Miss? Yes, ma'am? Excuse me. What'd you have to butt in for? Butt in? What's going on here? Oh, I, oh we were just helping Miss Johnson tie this package. Well, you have a customer, don't you? Yes, sir. And you were straightening the stock? Uh, yes, sir. Well, come on, boys. Let's get going. Uh, maybe we better give this back to Terry. Hi. Well, hi, Rick. How's everything going? Just fine, thanks. I think I'll take this tie, please. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Wally. How's everything going? Just fine, thanks. The tie, please. <laughs> Come on, Wally. I think there's a customer over here. Could I drive you home, Terry? Oh, thanks a lot, but I have my own car. Oh, well, maybe you could drive me home. Don't you have a car? Oh, I haven't. What are you talking about? You said you're double parked. Uh oh, maybe the police have towed it away. <laughs> so tomorrow. Oh, uh, oh, oh wait a second. second. What's going on here? Uh, there's something wrong with the time clock. Yeah, it seems to be stuck. Christmas morning. And for this family, it's Christmas morning all over again, as often as they like, in their own full-color movies. Now there's no reason why you too can't relive the joy of Christmas in movies. Why don't you put this handsome package under your tree? And don't forget the tag that says, Open Me First. Save the joy of this Christmas right from the very first moment. The complete Brownie movie camera kit, including light bar for making your indoor movies, costs less than $33. The camera alone costs less than $25, 
or as little as $2.50 down. And the name Kodak tells you it's a gift you'll be proud to give. That sounds like a good idea. Hi there. Hi, Mom. We just about given up on you. Well, I had to stay a little later. The time clock got jammed up. How'd it go today? Oh, uh, pretty good, thanks. How are you doing with a beautiful sales girl? Okay, she's very nice. Well, come on, let's have some of the details. What do you mean, details? Well, you know what I mean. You got a date with her yet? No, of course not. I just started working there. Well, you had all day to get acquainted. Well, now, wait a second. I, I thought you were working at the store to make some money. I am. It sounds to me like you're more interested in the sales girl. Well, why can't he be interested in both? Well, it's okay with me if it's okay with the Emporium. I'll give you one more day. And if you don't make any progress, I think I'll take a run down there and look this girl over myself. Well, a lot of good that'll do you. Oh, I don't know. I haven't done my Christmas shopping yet. And don't forget, the customer is always right. Well, do your shopping someplace else. I've got enough competition as it is. Well, no, no, now, wait a second. After all, you're a salesman. You don't want to discourage business. Well, no, but I want to discourage David. What I don't understand is, if you want a date with this girl, why don't you just ask her? No, Mom, I think you got something there. Uh, I'll ask her the first thing in the morning. And while we're at it, I've got another suggestion. Well, what's that? Eat your dinner before it gets cold. <laughs> Sure has been busy this morning, hasn't it? Sure has. Thank goodness Christmas only comes once a year. Yeah, it gets kind of hectic around here. I was so exhausted last night, I didn't even eat any dinner. I just took my bath and plopped into bed. Uh, how about tonight? Uh, or maybe tomorrow night? What do you mean? Well, do you think we could go to a show or something? Oh, gee, thanks, Rick, but we're going to be working late every night this week. Oh, well, how about right now? The traffic seems to slow it up a little. Do you think we could sneak off and get a cup of coffee or a Coke or something? Hey, that sounds like a good idea. I wasn't talking to you, Wally. Gee, fellas, I don't think we should all leave at once. Oh, she's absolutely right. Why don't you and I take our break now, and when we get back, Rick can leave. You have a customer, Wally. Me? What about you? I really think we should take our breaks one at a time. Excuse me. May I help you? Yes, wear the men's pajamas, please. The next style over. Thank you. Now, if she'd have said I'd like to see something in men's pajamas, we could have gotten a big laugh out of it. <laughs> By the way, how are you fellas doing with your sales? Oh, uh, well, not too good. Uh, me either. There seems to be a lot of people around, but nobody's buying anything. Well, I've been doing very well. I hate to say this, but I don't think you fellas are trying too hard. Hi, Terry. Oh, hi, Conrad. How are things in the shoe department? That's what I came over to tell you. I was top man in the whole department last week, and I'm leading so far this week. Well, that's wonderful. Would you like to help me celebrate with a cup of coffee? I'd love to. Would you fellas mind holding down the fort for a while? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'll be back in about ten minutes. Well, how do you like that? Excuse me. Uh, yes, ma'am? I'd like to buy these two tires, please. Oh, certainly. Boy, what a cornball that comrade is. Maybe so, but he's doing better than we are. Thank you. Well, shoes are easier to sell than neckties. Yeah, you've got a point there. He's also doing pretty well with Terry. At least better than we are. Thank you, sir. Well, are you suggesting that she's impressed with him just because he happened to ring up a few sales? Oh, no. That's ridiculous. May I help you, sir? Uh, may I help you, madam? Thank you, sir. Call again. Oh, may I help you, madam? Uh, may I help you, sir? Uh, sir? Oh. Sorry, Mr. Jones. That's okay, Rick. I'm glad you fellows are finally getting the idea. Yes, sir. Uh, may I help you, madam? Uh, may I help you, sir? Watch it, Sonny. You're getting in the way of a real salesman. Look, will you let me get by? I have a customer waiting. Well, I suppose somebody has to make the small sale. Here you are, sir. That'll be $28.65. It'll be $34.50. Not bad, huh? Oh, take a look at that. Well, you're only a couple of dollars ahead of me. Let's see how you fellas are doing. Hey, that's darn good. Well, naturally, we're a couple of real salesmen. Especially me. <laughs> well, you act like you don't believe me. I'll believe you when you sell one of those. <laughs> how you doing? Oh, pretty good. Well enough to impress a certain young lady. Hey, it's way past your dinner time. Aren't you guys gonna eat? Oh, I think I'll skip dinner tonight. 
Oh, go ahead, Wally. I'll take care of things while you're gone. Oh, gee, that's very nice of you, Rick, but I'm not really very hungry. Okay. Uh, can I help you, miss? <laughs> Mills furnishings. Oh, hi, Uncle George. How many did you get? Well, weren't you able to round up any more than that? Yes, sir. Well, we'll be able to handle it for you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, when'd you sell all that stuff? Oh, in the last hour or so. Well, you didn't wait on that many people. Well, I've been concentrating on quality, not quantity. Well, I think you've been buying the stuff yourself. But don't worry, I'll catch up. You sound pretty sure of yourself. No, I just have a feeling. Wally? There are some customers asking for you. Oh, thank you, Terry. Excuse me. Say, keep busy, will you, son? Straighten up the stock or something? <laughs> uh, did they ask for Wally by name? Yes, they did. Gee, that's funny. Hi, Aunt Catherine, Uncle Ray, Aunt Jenny, Cousin Buddy, Marjorie, oh, Uncle Gordon, Aunt Maud, Uncle George. Oh, so glad you came down. Uh, well, let's start over here. Now we have a wonderful selection of sweaters. Hey, I did pretty well here. I never realized there was so much ready cash in our family. You better get going. You're not doing so well. Oh, well, maybe not, but I will from now on. Hi, Mom, Pop, Dave. Pretty sneaky getting your family down here. Well, you did the same thing. Yeah, but I didn't use my immediate family. Well, folks, what can I do for you? That's my opening line. I say that to all the customers. <laughs> I can help you out, Rick, but I've already bought most of my presents. Oh, well, buy some more. Shop till it hurts. Well, uh, we don't mind doing our Christmas shopping here, but uh, why all the pressure? Does this have anything to do with the girl you were telling us about? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, yes, it does. How you doing, Rick? Oh, uh, fine, thank you. Good. Pardon me? Uh, pardon me. Uh, is that the girl? No. <laughs> is that the girl over there? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, hey, she's cute. Uh, uh, pardon me. Hey, wait a minute, where are you going? Uh, I have some more shopping to do. Come back here, baby. <laughs> Looks like you just lost a customer. Well, that's okay. He's not a very big spender anyway. Say, these would be nice for Uncle Al, don't you think so? Yeah, uh, they come in several colors. Well, it's a real bargain. Oh, I'm sure it is. If you ever wore a thing like that, I'd disown him. Well, I can't say as I'd blame you. <laughs> You're doing a great job, boys. I don't mind telling you I was a little concerned at first, but you're doing beautifully, both of you. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Jones must be very pleased. He doesn't pay compliments like that too often. Oh, thanks. We owe it all to you, you know. Me? Oh, sure. You set such a good example for us, we just had to do our best. Yeah, you've been a real inspiration. Well, thanks, fellas. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, uh, now that we're on a friendlier basis, would you care to reconsider and go out with me tonight? It's still early. Well, thanks, Rick, but I'm afraid I can't. Yeah, well, how about me? I may be a little shorter, but I'm a lot of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, you're both very nice, but I really don't have the time. I have a lot of packing to do. What do you mean? Well, I wasn't sure I could make it until this afternoon, but I'm going back home for Christmas. You mean right now, tonight? My plane leaves in about two hours. Well, isn't that kind of sudden? Well, I really have you boys to thank. At first, they didn't think they could get along without me, but you fellas have done so well that they told me to go ahead and go. Mm. Well, isn't that nice? How long are you going to be gone? About two or three weeks, I guess. Would you boys do me a favor? Oh, sure. sure. Well, my sister's going to be taking my place starting tomorrow, and I was wondering if you could kind of help her out and sort of look after her while I'm gone. Oh, oh sure. sure. Well, she's waiting for me right over there. I'd like you to meet her. Oh, Mary Jane? This is Rick, and this is Wally. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Holy mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> anything you want to know, just ask the boys. Yeah, anything at all. Anything at all. Well, I guess I better be going. I'll see you fellas in a couple of weeks. Uh, have a nice trip. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Same to you. Keep up the good work. Oh, we will. By the way, I sold one of those ridiculous shirts tonight. That'll give you something to shoot at. No, <laughs> you're not kidding. Those shirts themselves are something to shoot at. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, fellas. Okay. Well, that's what I call a happy ending.
Yeah, this job gets better all the time. You know something? I may work here every Christmas. <laughs> you say she's gone home for Christmas? Yeah, her plane leaves tonight. Well, when will she be back? Oh, in about two or three weeks. How come you're so interested? Oh, no special reason. Uh, uh, Dave, uh, I can't find my golf socks. Your mother says she thinks maybe she put them in your drawer by mistake. Uh, help yourself, Pop. Oh, thanks. Yeah, she sure is a nice girl. And a good salesman, too. Hey, you remember that crazy sports shirt I tried to sell you, Pop? Well, that wasn't a sports shirt. That was a nightmare. Well, she sold one. You're kidding. No, they've had them there for about five years, and that was the first one anybody's ever sold. <laughs> Somebody must have been colorblind. Hey! Now, wait a second. That's not fair, Pop. Now you've seen your Christmas present. I hope this is all right. Oh, what do you mean? Well, my being out with you like this. I mean, isn't there a rule about employees going out together or something? Oh, no, not that I know of. If there is, it certainly wouldn't apply to just taking someone out to lunch. I hope it's okay. I wouldn't want to get into trouble my first day on the job. Oh, I'm sure it's all right. Don't you think so, Wally? Well, the way I look at it, happy employees make for satisfied customers. Besides, what we do on our own time is our business. Don't you think so, Martha? Whatever you say, honey. <laughs> week, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet will be brought to you by the Coca-Cola Company. Like a good many other American husbands, Ozzie is a valiant do-it-yourselfer. And with Grandma Nelson's old cuckoo clock that hasn't run in 30 years, he's got a king-size problem. But here comes Harriet with a king-size answer. King-size Coca-Cola. Yes, whenever you need real refreshment, you want ice-cold, sparkling Coca-Cola with the cold, crisp taste the lively, refreshing new feeling that only Coke can give. And when you want more of the world's best refreshment, you want king-size Coca-Cola. After you pour, still lots more. A second glass for you. Yes, your family's biggest king-size refreshment value is king-size Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you want to be really refreshed, have a nice cold Coca-Cola. Make it king size. Harriet are brought to you on film by Eastman Kodak Company, who also present the Ed Sullivan Show on another network. Kodak gifts say, open me first, to picture all the fun of Christmas Day right from the very first moment. And the name Kodak means they're the finest you can give. Good night. And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. When you're helping Santa fill your child's stocking, remember Christmas seals for the gift of good health. Because Christmas seals fight tuberculosis, our country's number one infectious killer. Through medical research paid for by Christmas seals, each of us, young and old, is safer from TB. To make every Christmas merrier, a Christmas tree. To make every Christmas healthier, Christmas seals. Christmas seals to fight tuberculosis. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.